I would say almost a month ago, we had uh, a news break actually regarding the Checkmate 743. Um, now this is a global uh, randomized pivotal phase three study um, looking at um, a combination of immunotherapy with ipilimumab and nivolumab, um, an established therapy in the front line for melanoma, for example, uh, which has really shown you know, dramatic um, improvements in efficacy over and above single agent and nivolumab. And as a way of context, we've previously looked at and published um, anti-CTLA-4 efficacy in mesothelioma. This was a placebo control study determined which showed no benefit of single agent CTLA-4, um, that in, in, in this case, um, trembolimumab in relapsed mesothelioma. However, it is well established that the combination of uh, CTLA-4 and PD-L1, PD-1 inhibitor uh, is synergistic. And indeed, the news um, uh, uh, report stated that the CHATMATE 743 study was positive. What does this mean? Well, it was compared against standard of care chemotherapy. We're lacking any you know, real granularity in the data as to exactly what the medians were, what the um, one-year survival and so on was, and indeed uh, what potential cost effectiveness therefore will be uh, for adoption of this treatment. But I'm optimistic actually that based on this um, very, very exciting result that we may have seen now a change in the frontline practice uh, before mesothelioma. And this is the first time in a decade and a half that we've seen something like this. So incredibly welcomed uh, news, I think, by the community globally. We just need to see the, the real uh, data, actually, I think, before we can make that final judgment as to how useful this is going to be and, and of cost effective for our patients. But I'm, I'm optimistic.